Nae, tugulumiza katonda orobu eleza runo. We exalt God for this ministry. Mukama, abwe sigisiza nebi ntwebi enja ulo. The Lord has entrusted it with several things. Echimoku bioma somero. And one of them are schools. Amen. Amen. Tuine somero liya Inaman Primary School. We have a school called Inaman Primary School. Waliwe ridi wano. There is one that is here. Zengebe. And also there is one that is at Zengebe. Wovoli, mzade, ngolie, yongo, ino, mwana. In case you're a parent, you're that side and you have a child. Aliku primary level. Who is at primary level? Mwesi gisama, somera agagenda, okumoku zamu, eh, okumuso mesa, asigaze chomo yo, atenga nechomo bidi achifuna. Entrust your child with a school that is going to nurture them both spiritually and physically. Chokate ku secondary level. But still at secondary level. To in a Steva Christian High School. We have Steva Christian High School. Eridi in Nakaseke. That is in Nakaseke. Mukamaeva Zwe. Praise the Lord. Esomero Yaridia Kuna mu district. That school was the fourth in the entire district of Nakaseke. <laughs> Osaga, mkama iba zwe. Bobo inabana. In case you have your children. Abage na msinia five. Those who are going to join S5. Ne, bawa nisa from senior one to senior five. They are registering from S1 up to S5. Mkama iba zwe. Praise the Lord. Let omana o. Kindly bring your child. Walua msumbo mi abada agamba. There is one pastor who was saying. Nabade mfollowing. As following this particular pastor. Nagamba tuli mbenga tuku za abana. And this pastor said, we are in a generation where by we are raising children. When some parents nurture them the way they want. And they are the ones whom they are going to write posters for. Don't urinate here. <laughs> Praise the <laughs> Lord. Do not urinate here. Tofukawano. Faini yeno. The fine is this in case you urinate here. Don't litter here, your rubbish. Because children most time spend most of the time at school more than with their parents. Therefore, entrust the life of your child with these precious schools. When you're very sure, your child will never pay the fine of don't urinate here. Because you can't be spiritual and then you see a cause that has don't urinate here and then you urinate there. Praise the Lord. Steva is registering. The office is also here. Office ya mami. Mommy's office. The reception of Sabologenda never co never co guiding. And also, you can go to the reception and they guide you out. Mkama Eva's way. Praise the Lord. Mumezgua August. In the month of August. Twelve. Ngakumi na bidi ogomu na na. Tenth, sorry. Ngakumi ogomu na na. Tugenda kuvera ne sing your prayer. We are going to have the sing your prayer. Bamekanga walio jivadem. How many of us have been have ever been a part of it? Bamekango gamba yakuwa omukisa. How many of us say that it blessed your life? Ate kuluno chigenda singa wonyo. And this time it is going to be more glorious. Sabia wete geko kujio kuvere chitundu tundu ku sing your prayer yomwa kaguno. Are you pray you prepare yourself to be a part of the sing your prayer for this year? Mukama eva's way. Praise the Lord. Saba kuba saku bidango bia Easter season ya feje tuina. And I request to put on table for you the announcements that we have for our Easter season. Ku Good Friday. On Good Friday. Tugenda kubela nukusaba kwa 24 hours mchifochinu. We are going to have a 24 hours prayer session in this place. Eda mukusabo kwe misana nechilo mungenda kubela moku na zebi gede. And during that prayer session, both during day and night, there is going to be washing of the feet. Cha moyo. It is very spiritual. Jango bedeo mkama jaku kolabulunji. Come and be present, the Lord will do you very good. Kusata denge na kuzomweza asatu. And on Saturday 30th. Tugenda kubela ne Easter Children's Party. Tugenda kubela yone party ya abane ya Easter. Okufa kumiake enapaka kumiaka kuminebili. From four years up to twelve years. Bulimwana agenda sasulo mtu alugumu. Every child is going to be paying ten thousand shillings. Leto omwana wanyumire. Can you bring your child that they may enjoy? Atenga anyumira mkristo. And when they are enjoying in Christ. Mkama eva's way. Praise the Lord. Ngena kuzomweza asatu mulumu. And on the thirty-first. 
I want to request you, let me kneel down. Praise the Lord. On the 31st, it is going to be Easter Sunday. The minister of the Lord, Mr. Mwanguzi, Joshua Clever, Joshua Clever is going to be with a concert that we called Life Exchange Revival Launch. Kindly come and be present. You know, if only you, the women who are here, if you only you come and attend, the launch will already be done. Praise the Lord. For him will invite the men, for me I'm inviting the women. Kindly come and be around. The Lord is going to do us good. The Lord is going to transform our lives. Praise the tickets Lord. The tickets are available. Uh, the adults 20,000 shillings 50,000 100,000 and going above and the children are going to pay 10,000 the tickets are available at the reception but also even me I have them you can even live here when you've gone with your ticket praise the Lord kindly I've booked you on 35 Amen. Amen. I know you're going to come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going into another session. Okay. Sorry. On 31st, we are going to be here for the Life Exchange Revival launch. Then in Gasatu Ngalumu Epo. And on 1st April, the singles are going to be here in their singles conference. For a long period of time. They have been happening all along. And the Lord has been doing us good. If you're a single and you're in this place, plan to be a part of this. I believe it and I know it, the Lord is going to do you well. And after the singles conference on Monday, from Tuesday 2nd up to Friday, we are going to be praying and fasting all of us as a church. Then on Saturday, we are going to be the very first spiritual covering service in this year. We would have clapped for it more than that. Praise the Lord. Plan very well. And endeavor to be around. I believe the Lord will do you good. Receive the glory. Holy Spirit, teach. Train us that we live with our transformations in the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 I'm so happy all of you, my friends, to meet you, and I believe that you have an ingredient of overcomers. Amen. Um, Christian Fellowship. She comes from Mutunde Christian Fellowship Ministry. Under the pastor Tom Mugerwa. Delighted to be in this place. I take this opportunity to thank Pastor Serumaga and the entire committee. And also to allow us to come and minister to the women. Mommy, may God bless you. We encounter ourselves in different places. And I honor Mrs. Sakira, the women leader. That, that is how I call her. <laughs> 
Thank you, my friend. It is not my first time in this place. I came and I was with the, min the pastor's wives. And I was blessed. And thank you for thinking about me once again. I have not come alone. I have come with my head pastor. This pastor has pastored me for 19 years. And in our church, we have eight followers. Allow me to welcome him that he may greet us. It is not a day for men, but he has done a glorious work to see that I become what you see. Namusanga I met him with that dream. And in his book, he wrote that we had to pastor eight with five women in it and three men in the church. <laughs> so, the Lord has granted us grace. The church is fully packed. He is Mr. Juko Tom. Praise our Lord. I'm also happy to be in this place. Uh, Doctor, I'm so happy to see you. It is my first time. Uh, may God bless you. Now, all the committee that has welcomed us. God bless you for loving us. He's married and he's called Tom Juko Juliet. Nebaza Mukama, Emiaka Kumina Mundaja Mazino Mchara. I thank God for the 19 years I've spent with my wife. She's special from every other woman. Some men say all women are the same, but mine is different from others. And she knows that arms different from other men. Praise the Lord. They usually say that behind a strong man, mine is not behind, she's besides. And she has been a woman for all the 19 years. She has managed to be our mother. She got married to a man who was raised by a grandmother. A man who is picky. A man who is who refuses some things because the grandmother is always on him please eat praise the Lord what has annoyed your husband but we have been able to be transformed into a full man praise the Lord we bless the Lord ever since we got saved. The church has trained me to become a man. In the businesses where we be, there is nothing as troubling as meeting a man who failed when he's controlling others. 
and you meet him counseling Umkazi another that don't let your woman know where you're going Umkazi tomukiriza to 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 danga budde Umkazi tokiriza nkudde mu sawa zizingo badde sawa wezi no singa nango atambuya kumateka gaba antu abali mirirwa When you find a man walking up with the counsel of those who failed in marriage but really today is a women's day I was even afraid of entering but when I found doctor I was comforted because women have power even though they say that men are powerful but women have power because men are struck by only one thing and you see the whole world has ended but a woman she will tell you we shall go through may God bless you so much Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God that he has managed to come because he had stopped in the car. Women, the Lord is good. When a woman is happy, the children are happy. The husband laughs. People at the workplace laugh. But when a woman is annoyed, everything is a mess. I believe the Lord. This conference, the Lord is going to marry you. He is going to delight your heart as a woman. And you will not put on a plastic but you will laugh from the bottom of your heart that when you've laughed you've laughed indeed that you laugh indeed and we believe just as our theme is that be silent and work hard. It is hard for a woman to be silent because a woman talks <laughs> a woman talks and at times working is less because we are detailed and men have head by name it we jamaudiri so this theme be silent and work hard we are going to speak as we work our mouth and our heart all working together Hallelujah. Amen. You will understand Miss Lowen 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 11 and that you also aspire to lead a quiet life, to mm. mind your own business, and to work with your own hands as we commanded you. Amen. Amen. As we are quiet in our hands, but working with our hands, not indulging in the troubles of the world, women, I want to tell you that before you think of working you have to find out that if I don't work what is the result what happens to you what are you going to encounter if you don't work Amen. Amen. if you don't work what is going to happen to you and if you work what are you going to gain Isaiah Satumubiri Isaiah 32 and verse 9 advantages of working and not working you will be able to work mm. Isaiah 32 mm. and verse 9 Mugolo koke mabakaza abalangajja abakaza abakola batya abalangajja aha muulire dobozi lyange mabawala abatali koche mulowoza ebigambo bibiri muli mwa abakazi muli mu 
Abawala. We have women and we have girls. I thank God that today is a day for all of us as women. We have age brackets that indicate the girls and also those that indicate the girls. The women. A woman, a woman or a girl, women were afraid of speaking out our age. That brings us trouble because you may fail to know where you fall and what you ought to do in the right time. Ask that woman, are you a woman or are you a girl? <laughs> Starting from 18 years of age, up to 25, you are referred to be a girl or a daughter. Tell yourself, are you also among the bracket of the complacent? And those who are not thinking of anything? From 25 years of age, up to 45 years, you are in the bracket. A adult woman. Those that are adults. From 45 years of age, age up to 60 years, you are in the bracket of the middle age. But every age bracket means something. The man who made things and he made your beautiful life, he prayed to God for one thing. Help me that I may number my days with wisdom. Huh? Yes. Yes. Psalms 90. Zaburi Chenda. This man was able to know that the time he was living, all the life he was living was not eternal. We shall come back to Isaiah, but let us give also this to Psalms the women. Psalms 9 to 12. Uh -huh. There is no woman under the sun who wants to be foolish. Every wise woman gets a heart of wisdom. That woman can, counts her days with wisdom. Women. Yes. Yes. I'm single, contented, not searching. You may find a single woman who is 30 years of age and she's sing, saying, Then this single at a set, I'm such a name, I did but at such an age you don't need to say that you just need to fall before the Lord and cry for your inheritance and tell him Lord I need to get somewhere Pastor JJ is that you or someone else or you don't tell that one your age. But tell him, tell that person that your age is increasing. The last time I gave birth, the doctor told me to raise my head and I couldn't. And to raise my legs, but I couldn't. 
and I told the doctor please help me but when I was still in my 20s I would just go to the hospital and then push my baby and it is done and I said the truth is even if I tie my body and, I, and I'm called sweet 16 <laughs> I need to say bye bye to the labor ward <laughs> Dr. Senyonge Mengo Nantuza. And Dr. Senyonga in Mengo counseled me. Nangamba, oyagalokula bididaba anaba noboza de. And he told me, do you want to take care of these children you've given birth to? Nandi kusabiye kobe kocholo oza. I would request that you think about something. Nienga we mtunde no baga sweet 16 pastor jeje. Nienga, oh mubiri gugamba, ah, ah, miyako yingira na. And when I would come this way, they would say, Pastor JJ Sweet 16, but the body was saying, No, you're clocking 40. Njigiriza. Teach me to number my days with wisdom. And then I will work things of wisdom in my days. Sitania tu bienyo. Satan has robbed us a lot. And he has robbed us of the blessing. And we became relaxed. And we gave him time. And yet he has not given us time. When you see the first woman. In the Bible. Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. Huh? That woman, what was she like? Today we are going to put on a face of warfare in the name of Jesus. Mm. Katonda, nava gama nti mweyonge ringa, mwarenga, mujuze nsi mujirie. Mm. Mufugenge vyo mnyanja, nevi vuka wagulu, nabulie chiri novula mwechitambla konsi. Mukama yeba ziwe. Praise the Lord. Katonda mukutonda kuwa mchiala. God when he was creating the Asoka woman. perception ya mukama. The first woman in the perception of God. Ya muwa mukisa. He blessed the woman. Na mugamba genda and he told her go mufuge byo munyanja have dominion mufuge over the byo walula have dominion over mufuge the creeping nente. things have dominion over the beasts buzo muchalo yo okukola ko kukulete do kufuge byo munyanja ask that woman has your working made you to have dominion over the sea and the things there you find that fish is running away from you emale kuduka Tilapia is running away from you. Different fish is running away from you. Only silver fish comes to you. Please cook us in your saucepan. Ogeno kwe sange bibu kamubanga. You find that the birds in the air. Ensene nezigwa nenswa. The grasshoppers and the ants. You just ask. How much is a cup of grasshoppers? Ten thousand. I will go back to my place in Mobenda and catch them. And that season passes. And then it comes to having dominion over the cattle. That even a simple rabbit or a small chicken is not present in your home. Have dominion over the cattle. We are here and you even don't know the scent of milk. Be silent and work. 
Togenda kutandika kola bukozi You will not just start to work But you must work Because you have an inheritance Right from the beginning That is what God created you for That is what God counsels for you That is what you are Say that is what I am do you know why when we get saved the words of blessing are the first in our lives and you may find that you don't know the scripture where it is written but you feel it within you it is written we shall learn we, but we shall not borrow and yet we have debt it is written wherever we shall step the Lord has si given to us. When you put your business to cast you away. <laughs> Say, I have an ingredient to work. And I was created a blessing. And I thank our government. We are set to take a marriage act. When it brought the marriage act law, and they said this time, even you, the woman, when you die, let the man also take part of your property. <laughs> Is it out yet? Has it been signed? Does it take 20 or 50 percent? Huh? 20. Yeah. 20 the heir takes 1%. The wife 20%. As long as you're married officially. If you're not yet married officially, those were gifts of the children in your love. <laughs> But they made us to rise up. And we got to know that we will never need to work. Fude. That even when you die, your husband does not weep as though they had nothing. Let him cry with a land title. Let him cry with a card of the card. Let him cry with the mall. <laughs> The ministers who brought this thing to the world. I was thinking about it and I was saying, Oh Lord, you've really made us rise up. Show me a woman. Which the husband dies after living property. Who weeps and even falls into the grave. They cry from the sheds. They put on a black gomez. And even make the kids dress up in They can even give a speech at the funeral. And they remember the day that they were betrothed. I can't forget. The day I met Mark. And then show me a woman. Who cries when the... <laughs> Woo! When the husband has left nothing Do you know how they cry? They ask her Where the bed sheets to walk from? Just go the other side and check Where are the trousers? Just go, just go but this one even if you ask her for sugar she has the key she cries as she goes to get for you the sugar from the cupboard tell your neighbor don't joke with a blessing <laughs> Ask your neighbor, have you seen the difference? 
Does the one who ah, gave me nothing give a speech? speech? Who has ever seen such giving a speech? Bagwa munta na jeba badja. Uwe na bakuja yoda yogundi. The grave and then they just pick her out. Na yo na beda kona ba na ba kama. But this one has those that are wiping her tears. And she says, it is well, it is well. It is well. It, it is, is well. Chili Wulund. Kati mukubide kenga let take it. Yoban nangeli yebales. So please clap for that Lord. Yonga de ingalo mutiana gwe. Clap for it, you woman. Olaba, you see, mo Europe, in Europe. How did women become powerful? In the Second World War, the men were taken to fight. And they died. And then they had so many things, but they tarried long. When they reached, women started to do the work of men. 1946, 1946, 1947, 1947. By the time the men were the women could be engineers. Women could be constructors. Women could do every work. Until today, any woman in Europe contributing a fifty contributes fifty percent, and the husband fifty percent. Tap that woman and tell her you have their ability. Touch her and tell her you have their ability. To pull you out and you become what you must be. Do you feel the ability within you? Some of you are waiting for a dream. Oh, I wonder where my ability is. Lindo wezata nonga to inache wa. You wait until you clock 50 without doing anything. You will rise and look for a market of matoke. At times the challenges we go through, they squeeze us and they open your mind. That man who left you, by the time he returns, my dear, my, when the children are full, when you pay the school fees, the children feed, when your mind, the dust was blown off. And you will see him return with the polythene because he must return. Like it or not, he will return. Because the anointing is present today. Don't weep anymore. Do not complain anymore. Be quiet. He has said, Sirikako. And work. I'm a weak vessel. I want to show you another woman. She was one but was clothed with another garment. Even if I don't read there, you know the story. Immediately Eve gave a chance the serpent to speak to her. Her life, dominion was taken from her life. Hello. Hello. Dominion was taken from her life. What she was in the beginning was taken off. Which punishment did she receive? Huh? 
Mukuzala, that in her childbirth the pain will be intense and from today all your needs it is the man who must give you say that that is the money of the table that you cry for Was it in the plan of God or was it a curse? Let us answer. So that, for your needs to be from the man, was it a curse or the plan of God? Today the Lord is taking you out of that curse. Gamba Say, oh Lord. Today, just as I got saved, you're delivering me from the curse of giving birth in pain and also being in need. God is going to open your mind. He's going to open your understanding that you may work out what you must work out. Because in the beginning, God made you when you are working. God made you when you have to be blessed. And you came as a helper in the life of Adam. Ask that wife, how have you helped your husband? The curse which is upon your life, even the money you have, even when your car is done, you don't load. Let me wait for him to return. And you stay in darkness. And you desire to eat fish but you don't eat it and yet you have the money but you buy pigs and send to your mother to raise them for you and then they steal them. Today the Lord is going to help you woman to fly high that everything you get you will enjoy in your life. Let me also tell you this. I want you to start showing up those things which you've done. When you save some money, buy something. Omuwala, a girl, Olinda Chimu. You're waiting for one thing. I want a man with a house, with a car, and he has a story building. 26 to 27 years of age. And then you have three leggings in your suitcase, and four blouses. And then they ask, where is your suitcase and your property? And you say, this is my polythene. And yet, since you clocked 18, you've, you've been a woman. Say, oh Holy Spirit, my mind is being loosed. Eighteen to twenty-five. There is something. At least you'll make daddies or bagia. And you'll sell your pancakes to your village mates. By the time you finish academics at 25, when you have some ability you've taken out of your life, be silent and work. 
There is nothing that hurts me. As a daughter at 30 years of age, 35, Mama wana yenga when even your mother has something that binded her if that man is not giving us money for introduction and even to repair our house takutuala. he will not marry you <laughs> Gamba nange and then you say yes na kuwasa, and a man marries you when he's seeing some poor people that cannot even feed visitors at home Tell that woman if you've worked something. Show it at home that this is what ah, I brought. Tell that woman, you woman, you work since Monday Sunday. until Sunday. Transport but even you request your transport fee from your husband. And even fuel. Do you know that we rarely see the, the money that women make? When you go to your workplace, when grasshoppers are being sold, you ask, what is that? And you eat. And then someone roasting meat. Please come here. And then you eat them too. And then as you're leaving the one who's selling, they bring cow feet and then cassava. All the profit you made and it is all eaten. So you're rising to come to the conference and the husband is telling you there is nothing you're showing us so sit down and work. When I realized that I said Juliet you walk a lot That man usually takes me in different places And we have eight children but I tell him give me three I'll manage those Amid is him having the pressure he says Let my wife go but she has this that is what I prepared to say. Gamba amina. Say amen. Gamba amina. Say amen. Kubanga natagera ntindi wa mukisa. Because I realized that I am manyanti nina chensobolo kola. And I got to know that there is something I can do. Abachala. Women. We are mouth task. Tu sobolo kola ebintu binji. We have five boxes. Do you know box Your husband can be stuck with one box. And every time he's speaking, when I go back to drive the canter, I will drive the canter. <laughs> Because for them when they pursue something They pursue only one thing But we The Lord designed us That we can multitask One woman came and bought land. But I was amazed at this woman. We opened her box. And she has been saving 500 shillings. 500. 500. Saving that. And she bought land. 6 million. Tell that person even if you are a conductor, you are a conductor of food. It is, the Englishman says, Save penny, the pound will take care of itself. 
You woman say I am powerful. Today the Lord is going to take away the curse that entered into us. You know I was meditating and I was saying since I've been able to pray for this labor pain to go my first two children I would get pain since midnight until the day dawns. And the husband would just help. When I went to Mutunde, they told me you can give birth without being, getting the pain. And they told me that that curse can get off your life, that you I started to pray. Lord, I want to give birth like that. I prayed and I said, I'm releasing myself of this curse. It worked. That in 30 minutes, I said, I I said if the Lord is able to deliver us from this curse of the liver pains, then he can also be able to deliver us that our desire shall not be from our husband. My dear. And the Lord transforms the woman and takes her out of that yoke. When you consider the generation of Moses, when a woman was still cursed, she was not even counted or considered they would count the men the men were not numbered the women were not numbered they are counted and you would exchange it or change it at any time But when Jesus arrives, say that one. When he arrives, he changes the story of the woman. Those are few hand claps. He turns around the story of the woman. Men move slowly. And they ask Jesus these things concerning a woman. How should we do them? Amen. How should we handle them? Matthew 19. Say, Oh Lord, today change my story. Huh? <laughs> In the generation of Moses, a woman was like property and be exchanged like a house. You can sell land and it is owned by another. When Jesus comes, they come. They ask him, these things concerning the woman. How should we handle them? In your generation, should we act in the same way as Moses' time? Married, if you can raise up your hands, your many. Singles, thank you. And he said, No way. 
You will not divorce a woman because she's untidy. You will not divorce a woman because she eats a lot. No more divorce because you're no, you're no longer interested in your wife. And he took him back and he said, That is not what God intended from the beginning. That is why every man, every man that cast you away because you eat a lot, that is not a reason he's going to call you back. He divorced you because even when you sleep, your eyes are still open, but that is no reason he's coming back. You know, you, you can tap someone and ask, Are you sleeping? and they say, Yes, I'm sleeping. Those are different things. And he told him since the beginning. Uh -huh. Nadamu na muga manti, temuso manti oye ya bako lorubere berienga ya bako lomusajja no mukazi. Na gamanti, o muntu chana vale kachitawe nenyina, yetawe ne mukazi we, na bobo mbi, banabango mobili gumu. O buta bababili na te, na yo mobili gumu, kane katonda chea gata wamu, o muntu tachia ulangamu. Tachia ulangamu. Let no man put asunder. So a woman when Jesus came, he restored the woman to her first glory. He restored the woman to her first blessing. And you will see, they got a woman and a man in adultery. But they only brought the woman. And they didn't bring the man. And Jesus told the woman, that which you've done, sin no more. Today we are in the, gen the generation of Jesus as women. That is restored back to the blessing that God counseled for us. Isaiah 32 where we started from They were speaking about women and daughters They separate women and daughters That arise You complacent women You who sit and have nothing to do Walumazeyo. Isaya esule ya satumwebidi. Olu nyiri yoro muenda. Mugoloko ke mwaba kaza abala angaja. Mugulide dobo ziri yange. Mwaba wala abatari koche mulo oza. Motegera matuwebi gambo biyange. Muli na kuulida enako eziri. Muli na kuulida. Muli na kuwalida kunaku eziri suso mwaka mm. Mwabakaza abatari koche mlo oza uh -huh. Kubange vi kungulwa Ebi emiza bibu birifa Oku kungula tekuli tuka Mukankane mwabakaza abalangaja Muna kuwale mwabatari koche mlo oza Mwambule bu, Mwambule mwere mwere Mwesibe vi bukutu mwe watu vya mwe Bali kubamu chifuba Oreni miro ezo kusanyuka Oromu za bibu wa mjimu. Kunsi ya bantu bange kuli mera magwa. Ne. Kakati. Now. Omuchala angabu ya kugambi atandi kila mubu wala. Na agenda mubu chala. Na agenda mu eudali. Just like I've said that a woman starts as a daughter or a girl. And then she becomes a woman. And then she becomes an old woman. Katieka tonda chakola. Now what God does. Asumululo wongo wu. He. Opens your mind. He opens your mind. And he gives you the spirit of wisdom. And he gives you the spirit of counsel. The spirit to divide. And he gets out every skill of yours. And you become profitable. And your children praise you. And the husband praises you. And the world praises you. Today when you go on TV. 
They are giving medals to women that have done some things. But even here in Christ, the heavens will give you a medal. Amen. Amen. In the world we see what women have done They built houses But even here in Christ There are things that Christ considers that you've done And he says that woman has worked That woman is valiant in the, in the kingdom And at every stage As a woman there is your strength. There is why your strength must come out. Now you see the stage of your youth as a woman. There is something that must be done in prayer. What must be done is to see that you cast yokes of your life that yokes are cast off your life that yokes are taken off your life that by the time you mount to your age of being a woman when there are things you already overcame I'm, I'm giving you principles because I'm yet to be done Amen Amen in your age bracket as a youth Lamentation 3.27 You're going to do it Are you ready? Youth the English version says in his youthful stage. It is good for a man to carry his yoke over her yoke in a youthful stage. Say that I'm going to carry. Do you know women that today we are having a day the yokes which we, which we should have carried when we were youths, we are carrying them at 40 years of age. We have got to realize them at 50 years of age. But a sign that shows that you as a woman you have a yoke is a time when you enter your first peace when you become a woman do you remember when you took the hand behind <laughs> When you got into your period and they set you apart and your mother got into the bedroom and she said today you've become a woman. Some deceived us that even when you get close to a man his warmth will make, will make you conceive and will fear. And then when you hug a man you will conceive and then you will run away. But it guarded us. But the indicator of deliverance period zinga zamani walu wacha tuita irregularity that when you get irregular periods omwezi gumu odamu emirundi ya satu in one month you get periods three times odamu emirundi ya bili you get two times a period in a month olu sinofu no bulu minga bunji and then you have intense cramps abachala abakuru nebagamba batia echo chigala anga the elder women say chigala anga tajia kuzala she won't give birth it is a sign that shows that there is something in your life that is waiting for you in the time to come. 
So when you enter into your youthful stage, 25 years of age, you want to get married, the signs of bondage, they increase. The man who wants to marry you, the yoke that is upon your life, brings a married man to you. Singles, are you there? Raise up your hand and I end with you. The yoke brings a married man to you. And the married man comes to you. And he loves you so much. But by the time you realize that you have the bondage, you should ask for their phone. And then see that the way they saved you in their phone. Trash. Cement bag. <laughs> If he does not save you in a funny way, he will, he will save the village from which you come. Naluvule. But when you look at his phone and you see the wife at his home, he saved my own. My gift. When he makes a call, when, he, when the wife calls when you're together, she, he tells the wife that I am in safari. And when you call when he's at home with the wife, he goes on sounding as though he's not picking you. And then he goes to the toilet. When they pick your phone call from the bathroom toy. or from the toilet, the wife from the sitting room. When it is time to take you out, he doesn't take you to a public place where you're going. He takes you very far to Kalangala. Say now it is chasing me. And then he, if he is able to rent for you an apartment. And by chance he impregnates you. He impregnates you. When it is coming to about eight months with the pregnancy, he gives you the phone number of the driver. When you get the pain, call the driver to take you to the hospital. These, these are small signs that I can that I'm using to show you that there is a yoke you need to lift off your life as a youth. When you get the labor pains, then you put the teeth out. And then you bang the seats. And then he puts his, he switches his phone on no, at nine. You tell him the hospital which you're in. And he comes with flowers. This time when he comes with flowers, he wants to blindfold you that you may not put the child's picture on Facebook. Just as you've been there in secret, let also the child be the same. If he helps you in the entire clan, he will bring you one auntie. Say a When the devil does not make you encounter a married man, he will bring those who make your heart to ache. Broken engagement. You walk with him three months and then they blacklist you. And then you did I eat a lot?
Did I speak things he was not interested in? And then you post a picture. Didn't I work for you? If this yoke does not bring th people like that, it will bring a man who just wants to sleep with you. Friend with the benefit. Friend with benefit. When he needs you, he calls you. Until when you say, I'm fed up with men, let me get one who will treat me as a child. Now you're entering the pro max generation. Cross sex generation. Cross sex generation. No mufuna. You get him. 26. A sugar daddy of 50. You're seeking to be loved, but you can't find love. And he also has problems. He cannot sit for five minutes without dozing. He cannot sit for five minutes without dozing. As you're still there pretending and doing things, you laugh and then he asks, Why are you laughing? You, you're no longer interesting. He has seen the world. <laughs> and then it is time for you to go out. He no longer eats chicken, chicken and chips. <laughs> he eats cassava. And then you want to go to Snapchat. <laughs> it would be good for, for a young woman to lift her yoke while she's still a youth and then you call him baby when he dozes you call him baby and he's not rising <laughs> 50 years of age, he's used to calling him Tata Nalumansi. <laughs> the yokes that are on women's lives, only Jesus can lose them off of our lives today. Say, oh Jesus, every yoke that came from my mother, that came from the turn of my auntie, I took it off my life. Ask your friend, did you make that prayer or not? And some, married, some women you've got married and you've entered marriage with your yokes. And when you get there, it comes for you. The one who came putting on a night dress, now you put on an overall. It asks who brought you here. <laughs> and some you're already now sleeping with the children in their room. And others you were there scurry in the sitting room. It is asking who brought you to marriage. Whatever you don't fight against, in the edge bracket where you must fight against it, it will come ahead of you. Now all your feelings are dead. You take okra and you take green water. And then you start to use lubricants that you would use at 45. Women, you understand what, what I'm saying. 
It is coming for you. And it asks, is this bed yours? And some of you, the bed you bought, the one you lay, everyone, you go like an inspector. You go tiptoeing slowly. And then you find when they are still watching, and then you go back. <laughs> Tell your neighbor that there is something you didn't break. There is something you crossed with. And now women are hiding in intercession. Every night at 10, she is in intercession. Congo. For Congo. Lord, make it right. Yisraeli. I pray for Israel. I surrender it to your hands. Lord Gaza, let the grace be sufficient. Nayajukira. <laughs> <laughs> But remember, your husband is not yet saved. And you have his salvation. Now he's seeing the comedy you're doing. And then, you sort the beans in the night. And even wash in the night. And at midnight, you iron. And then you go to the prayer room. And <laughs> touch. You say touch. And he comes and he says, Is she mad or not? <laughs> and then you tell but him, We have a conference at church. Check that woman and tell her there is something you had to fight which you didn't overcome. Today it has come following your life. And there are dreams you will dream that indicate that there is something you didn't overcome. The first dream you will dream when you are being wedded but you don't see the one wedding you. Who has ever dreamt such? Women I send regards to you. The other dream, you will dream having a, a ring on your finger, marriage finger. And some of you even dream of your husband. And things all get destroyed. If you're in a relationship, and then you dream the one who is betrothing you when you're together, and then things are sabotaged. We didn't know what was chasing after us. This which I'm telling you life about experience is my life experience. When I'm not afraid my husband is around, I got married with him for seven years. It was a battle. And then he told me, please get me a timetable. And I got a dream that when I was going into marriage, I got my property and then I ended along the way. But in the way, there was a gorilla a putting on a suit and a monkey and they married me. Hello. In the, in the dream I said hey, I didn't reach my marriage I got my property And then I entered Every time you don't fight There is something That wants you to lose your blessing 
the blessing of the marriage, blessing of the children, blessing of life. There is something missing after you. But in the anointing and in the days we spend here, something will lose and get off your life in the name of our Lord Jesus. The woman called Ruth the same thing was chasing after her life. And she became a young widow. There were three Naomi the husband died. Even Opa's wife died. And Ruth's wife, Ruth's husband died. And Naomi got her by the hand. And told her, Won't I get for you rest? That you may get rest from your father. That you may get rest from the house of your father. Even you, the Lord is speaking to you. He is going to seek for you rest, you woman. That you may rest. But when you read the process of the yoke of the yoke getting off Ruth's life, she told her, wash your garments, anoint yourself with oil, go present yourself to Boaz as a hard working lady. I take Naomi as the Holy Spirit. Who gave this young woman direction? Direction. And this young girl, she went to. She went to the threshing ground. She picked. She picked. Boaz and Boaz saw her. And she asked that, that one who is, who is working hard. Who is not with the young man? Who, who does she belong to? Even you in your hard working. Which we've entered in this conference. Your name will be mentioned. Boaz asked, where is she from? In the night, she went to his feet. By the time Boaz arose, he asked, who are you? And she said, it is me. And she said, let me ask security to you. For I saw you a hard working woman. You are a careful woman. I saw you. You don't. Familiar. Hallelujah. Amen. Give him a hand clap and an ululation. I saw you. Single today, tighten your skirt. Don't familiar. So boundaries. Put some boundaries. In the shops where you are from. Tell them I'm saved. As you serve food. Men who tap the bums of women. Tell them Jesus loves you. I'm going to walk. I'm just going through this place. I am heading somewhere where the Lord is taking me. I believe the Spirit of the Lord is going to be faithful. Your Boaz is around. Your kids will go to school. You're going to serve the Lord. And all the generations of your life are going to be many. Stand up on your feet where you are. Raise your hand. I want us to go back to the blessing for which we created. Tell him in five minutes. Desire and sell I thank you. This is the sure blessing. This is the very time which you've called me to restore my life, to restore my wisdom, to restore my children, 
that has not been in my life ask for it in the name of our Lord Jesus as a woman who the Lord counseled well for as a woman who the Lord counseled joyful as a woman who the Lord counseled victory for the one who counseled for earth and brought her blessings who counseled for Esther and made her enter the palace who counseled for Deborah and made her chief judge and made her to enter marriage and made her enter to become a judge tell him Lord that anointing give it to me today to make me a woman of wisdom to make me a woman of knowledge to make me a glorious woman Lord my house will not fail the life of my children will not fail woman speak in two minutes speak speak in the name of our Lord Jesus decree in the name of the Lord speak it in the name of Jesus Father we pray your mighty hand we pray for your special grace we pray for special glory we pray for special ability upon our lives today the blessing without sorrow today we enter it in Jesus name the blessing from you that breaks yokes break yokes of your life break every yoke of your life those from your lineage those from your mother's side they in the name of the Lord those of poverty those of failure those of backwardness those of not being established Lord I break off every yoke of being cast away of not being given that has been in my life I take it off of my life in Jesus name almighty God what came to marriage that brought barrenness that brought miscarriages that Road death of children. I take it off. In this conference, I take it off. Father, our minds arise. Our wisdom arise. We are renewed. Our skills come out. Take out your skills in Jesus' name. Take out your skills in your life. Call the spirit of wisdom. Call the spirit of counsel. Call the spirit of going forward to come upon our life. Thank you, faithful God. You are good, Jesus. Good Father, I want to thank you for the women. Lord, we've got to know that when Jesus, you came, you restored the woman to her rightness. Father, I believe whatever is in her life is going to be blessed. I thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for you've done it for us. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. May God bless you so much. A mighty hand clap than that. Thank you very much. Before we get out, let me request you that you give a mighty hand clap to the Lord as you thank him for this that he has done for us and also the words that he has told unto us and all the learning that we have had. Lord, thank you so very much. Thank you for your goodness, Lord. And we believe we leave this place when you are changed the people in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me request you to get into your pocket that we may give in our evening offertory. And you are going to get a few announcements. And then we are going to wind up our day one. 
Let's switch our hands towards Pastor Juliet Juko and pray for her blessing. Declare some words over her and her marriage and her children. Almighty God, we thank you for Pastor Juliet Juko. And we pray for her a blessing. Thank you for enabling her to come before you to draw those spiritual things and she brings them unto us. We pray you bless on her husband and her children and you may perfect whatever you wrote as you are bringing her on this earth in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for this, our last offering. That you may, let's close our eyes and pray. Ask some words also that you, you say out. Almighty God, I bless you for these women and the men who are in our midst. And Lord, as we give in, we pray for a blessing, that blessing that has no sorrow. Let it come of our lives, that we may see expansion both left and right, that may open doors for us and get, that may show us the riches that are hidden in darkness and the precious things hidden in mystery. This wisdom that we've got. My God, may you help us to put it into practice. And in our midst, women shall arise. Those who are going to do great things. Those who are going to do deeper things. That they may benefit their lives. And also your kingdom, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me request you to get up on your feet and you come and give in. Praise the Lord. Those who are going to spend the night here, we are going to request you that we gather the other side. In case you're going to spend the night here, we are going to gather the other side. Tomorrow we are beginning exactly 8 a.m. Friends, we are requesting you to come very early. Because even tomorrow we are going to be blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We request you to come early. I believe you're going to be so much blessed. We pray that the Lord may grant you journey mercies as you go back home. The pastor's wives, we are so much happy to see you. The leaders for women, different ministries, we are happy to have you. May the Lord surely do you a lot of good. In the name of Jesus. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all and the brethren now and forevermore.